A new batch of agribusiness men and women from regions one and two became certified agri-entrepreneurs after completing a five-week training program jointly organized by the Extension and Advisory Services Division and the Agribusiness Development Unit of the Ministry of Agriculture, Food Production, Fisheries, Cooperatives, and Rural Development. The certification exercises form part of an ongoing program for the, of the agriculture sector designed to equip farmers with the entrepreneurial skills needed to enter the world of competition. The whole idea is to build a new farmer. How do you build a new farmer? You, you build a new farmer by giving that new farmer new information, new opportunities for development, new opportunities to begin to think critically as to how we could improve our agriculture enterprises. You know, a lot of people very often look down on agriculture, but I, I don't think you would look down on a botanist, a horticulturist, a veterinarian, or any one of those scientists that make agriculture what it is today. It is, it is, it is one thing that, that you look down on a producer and, and you think that a producer is at the end of the chain, but someone has to do the production, right? And you're looking at a person who's also a producer. And so we are really, really proud that you have taken time off of your busy schedule to come here and to allow yourself to, to, to be taught these principles. The training programs cover subject areas in agribusiness development, pest and disease management, and record keeping, among others. The training seeks to get all farmers certified so that they are better able to manage their farms and supply a better quality product to the market. You are required now to go back to your farms and look at the, the standards that have been established, look at the, the conditions that are required in order for you to be a fully certified farmer. We still have a lot of farm workers who go to our farms, they don't have a place, they don't have a restroom, they don't have changing quarters, there's no potable water. If they get injured, how do you treat it? There's still not an, a, a, a first aid kit on our farm holdings, a whole bunch of stuff that you would not accept if you were working at Waterfront in one of these government offices or an insurance office or any kind of office, you'll probably tell your boss, you know, see you later because of the kind of conditions. And so what we are hoping is that in the process of beginning that process of sharing with you that information, you'll see value in appreciating your workers, going back and ensuring that the worker safety is right there, that the goggles and the respirators and the gloves and the boots and the coveralls are either made available by you or you are, it's a requirement for your workers to work on your holding because none of us want to work in, in an enterprise where our own lives are at risk. And so this program today is saying that you are going to commit yourself uh, during the next six months to a year to ensuring that your farm gets to a place where it could be considered a certified farm. That the newly certified agribusinessmen and women were applauded for taking on the challenge of capacity building. The new graduates were reminded of the important role which they play in feeding the nation and in bringing food security to the local economy. When I look in front of me here, I feel so proud to see there's a mixture of mature and young people. We need to start taking things serious. A lot of things people said that could not be done, we have proof with the collaboration of the ministry, with the ministry of Agriculture, CFL, Renwick and Company, all the main players in the agricultural sector. We proved that going to supermarket shelves now, and tell me what you see. When we started that journey, that wasn't what there. I'm not the one who do it. I'm maybe part of it. But now you see, uh, soon you'll see broccoli, cauliflower, a lot of that will be from St. Lucia. You see carrots, you see peppers, and I could go on and on. We didn't used to do those things. But people, I want to tell you the times are changing. Gone are the days where our colonial masters used to tell us, you do not need to grow food. We learn now, we are getting sick because we are not eating healthy, right? We need food to survive and we cannot depend on other people to do it for us. They were also encouraged to use the certification program as a springboard to propel their businesses and the agriculture sector in the right direction. You all are the ones who feed the nation. I want to see you now start taking that more serious. Look at yourself as a business person because that's who you are. You are a business person. And a lot of times we come to you the last and that's not the right way. Right? But you have to take responsibility. You have to stand and be counted. Because at the end of the day, the skills you learn have to reflect in the products you supply to the market. Too often, 
I see persons do everything wrong at the point of when they're ready to harvest that crop that they have nurtured for three months or six weeks. And then what? They find it's not profitable. Why? Because we did all the wrong thing. Just about two weeks ago, we had to send a gentleman back with all his pineapples. Why? He harvested too early. The pineapple was not much.